I don't know who who is trying to communicate with me okay but there is someone out there who is heavy they're heavy they're sad and they are in a state of despair okay came to me in my dreams last night and has been on my mind all day today and this particular person needs whatever it is that these cards are about to say all right so is this a reading for the collective not necessarily and honestly this could even be one of it could be any zodiac sign i don't know who it's for or what but somebody needs this i don't know who it is or what's going on what the situation is all i know is that i dreamt about you and i have been compelled to to read these cards for you all day so here we go let's see what this is all about all right let's see spirit source universal energy i'm here I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Spirit. I'm here. What is it that this person needs to know, Spirit? This person who has been haunting me today. What is it that this person needs to know, Spirit? What does this person need to know? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret it, but to understand it. Spirit, please, oh, I just got to stop right there. Please tell me where that stopping point is. I will cut three times and pull straight from the top. All right, let's do it. One, two. And three. One, two. And three. All right, so you guys see how weird that was? This is not like a general reading. This is very specific. So, the Sun, the Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Swords. We're going to stop with that. That makes a lot of sense to me. It'll make hella sense to you in a minute. Boom, first card out is the Hierophant. Some kind of commitment. Commitment, obligations of some sort. Commitments, contracts. To the Four of Wands, home, safety, stability, relationships, marriage sometimes. The Nine of Wands, resilience and persistence. Keep going, keep fighting the good fight. The Emperor in reverse to temperance in reverse. Interesting, we will see what that's all about. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, stuck. And then the Page of Pentacles, manifestation of new opportunities. Page of Cups in the center of the reading, talking about new opportunities, new communication, new emotional growth. The Ten of Swords, ending pain, betrayal, and the Queen of Wands in reverse. We will see what that is. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. One of these days. I'm going to have a professional setup, but I honestly don't take myself so seriously. So, the Six Pentacles. Six Pentacles talks about uh, the giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity in life. It also talks about doing something good for someone to the Seven of Wands, holding off, fighting off something, not confronting or dealing with something to justice. What's in the best interest? of you, yourself, and I, what is in the best interest to the star in reverse. Um, we'll see about that too. To the two of pentacles, balancing, the king of wands in reverse, look to the king, queen of wands in reverse right there, the nine of cups in reverse, and the high priestess. To the wheel in reverse, right? You wonder why you can't move forward. Look, seven of cups, wondering. To the king of pentacles, the Three of Wands and the Chariot in Reverse to the Hermit in Reverse. The Ten of Wands, 
the King of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Nine of Swords. All right, I think we'll stop. Oh, look, no, we'll stop with that Empress for sure. All right, we'll stop with the Empress. Okay, Emperor in reverse right there. Interesting. All right, let's make some sense out of all of this. So since this is um, such a personal reading for someone, I am going to not fast forward through the clarification process. So if you guys want to fast forward through the clarification process, go ahead, because whoever this is truly for is not going to want to fast forward through the clarification process. And I want them to understand how it all sews together, okay? So the Hierophant is the first art card out, and look at that, it's clarified by the King of Pentacles. Okay. King of Pentacles, and then Strength in Reverse. Interesting. Okay. To the Four of Wands, the Four of Wands, to the Page of Wands. Interesting. To the Nine of Wands. Resilience, Persistence, and then the Nine of Cups in Reverse. Okay. All right. Resilience, Persistence, Nine of Cups in Reverse. Hold it on. And that's that Hierophant back there as well, right? Okay. And then the Emperor in Reverse and Temperance in Reverse, followed by this Knight of Pentacles in Reverse down here. So who is this Emperor in Reverse? It's definitely the cause of Temperance in Reverse. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? It's an imposter. That's who it is, I think. It's an imposter. Tell me. Confirm or deny the hair, the emperor, please, in reverse. The knight of wands in reverse. Okay. Um, what else? Who is this? What is the core of this? What is this emperor for this person? What is the emperor in reverse? Is it them out of control of themselves? Or is it someone around them? I think it's someone around you. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Interesting. Okay. 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 And Temperance in reverse. Tell me about this. Tell me about Temperance in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles and the King of Swords. And that's what that is back there too. The Ace of Pentacles and the King of Swords. And then the Knight of Pentacles in reverse stuck. And then look, a reevaluation. Okay. And that leads you to the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Tell me um, about all this goodness right here. Tell me it's justice for sure. Tell me what this is all about right here. The Two of Cups in reverse. Yep, 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 yep. To the Ten of Swords, endings, pain, betrayal. Um, holding that mindset, though, is not in your best and highest good. It's not in your best and highest good. I kid you freaking not. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Okay. And then we go to, actually, you know what I just did? <laughs> Okay, well, that's okay. All right, what I just did was I combined the Ten of Swords with the star in reverse that was underneath it, and then I got the High Priest and the Page of Pentacles, but that's okay because I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. What comes next right here, all this is on the bottom of the deck, remember? Okay, so what comes next here is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Same Queen of Wands is in reverse right there. What, what... What is this? Four of Wands. I don't feel safe. Four of Wands. To the Yeah, look, what did I just say? Don't feel safe. Inability. 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 To the... Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Why? Tell me about justice. I know. I know. But tell me about justice. I know. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. Justice. I know all of them, right? Justice. Justice. 
to the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't make this up. I hope you guys saw that. Oh, you probably didn't. The Ten of Cups. Okay, and the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about this. Well, I already know the Two of Pentacles. I don't know why I'm asking for this. Yeah, look, balance this out. Things will stabilize. Okay, understood. And then the King of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Cups in reverse. The Hierophant. Okay, okay, I got this. I got this. Okay, so. All right, so whoever this is for. Okay, whoever this is for, I'm being asked to give you this message because it's, I can relate to it, okay? I can so completely relate to it. And that's what I tell people all the time, my clients and anybody who will listen to me, honestly. Everything that you do, that you experience in your life, everything that you overcome and not succumb to in your life, you can use for strength or it can be the weights around your ankles. I have, in my past, come through something like this. And because I have, I am empathetic to the situation and I'm here to encourage you that you can do it because I did it and a lot of other people have done it and you can do it too all right you can do it too so listen up listen up here it is so the Hierophant all right you are in this person is in some kind of committed relationship right um, I'm, I'm gonna read it like it's your reading okay I'm not gonna do this general stuff all right okay so the Hierophant this is your marriage this is your I, I, I do believe it's a marriage okay to the King of Pentacles the King of Pentacles is who you are married to but you see the King of Pentacles is your idea of who you're married to it's not actually who you're married to or let's just say committed relationship so i'm going to use the word married if you've been in a long-term relationship if you're common law married if you have some kind of long-term binding connection to this situation okay this, that i'm going to use the word marriage marriage okay so and husband and wife and if you're in between husband and wife that's okay we're all made out of masculine and feminine energy so you just find your spot and be happy there all right so this is some kind of marriage and the king of pentacles is who you are married to but the thing is is that you're not married to the king of pentacles you think you want to be married to the king of pentacles perhaps uh you are trying to duplicate um uh emulate your father and you have this beautiful idea of what this king of pentacles should be and you think that this person is the king of pentacles okay and strength in reverse comes on top of it remember first cards out set the tone for the whole reading this is your weakness your weakness is believing that this person is a king of pentacles and staying committed with everything that you are to the idea that this person is the king of pentacles Perhaps this Hierophant also represents some kind of religious foundation or religious belief system. Perhaps whatever it is that you believe uh, is that you're supposed to honor your husband or your wife. But it's mostly honor the husband because let's face it, we're coming out of a gigantic patriarchal struggle, right? And you don't have to be subservient to anyone, anyone. And if that's what your religion or your belief system is telling you, you need to take a step back and reevaluate a core belief system inside of yourself and ask yourself why you would allow yourself to be oppressed and suppressed and have someone that is superior to you dictate to you your wants, your needs, your desires. Now, 
right back to this King of Pentacles, all right? The weakness, strength in reverse. Your weakness is that you believe this guy is the King of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Um, and you, Four of Wands to the Page of Wands, right? You keep trying to put in effort. You keep trying to make this person happy, perhaps. You keep putting in effort. You're putting in effort, you're putting in effort, you're putting in effort all over the place. The nine of wands, resilience, persistence, fighting the good fight. You are trying to create in this marriage, which equates to a home, okay? Even if you're on the side of the road, that where, where, where you park your shit is where your house is, okay? <laughs> you have resiliently fought the good fight because you truly believe that this man is a king of pentacles. And what I say by king, what I mean by king of pentacles is long-term, steady, stable, stable, completely vested in the domesticality of life. Long-term domestic partnership, someone who takes control, someone who is a leader, someone who is honorable, full of integrity, someone that is very, very, very good at creating a sense of foundation and security. And you might get some of this from this King of Pentacles, but you're over here with these wild-eyed, rose-colored glasses that this person is in a, is, is, deserves a place of honor in your life somehow. And the Six of Cups in reverse comes on top of this and talks about unresolved issues from the past. I mean, that's the definition of that card. You can spring off in a bazillion different ways about what that means but it's unresolved issues from the past. Which takes me back to what I said in the first place. Maybe you are trying to emulate some kind of relationship. Maybe your daddy was the best man in the whole wide world, and when you married this person, you thought, male or female, because we marry our dads and our moms, we just repeat the same fucking broken cycle over and over and over again. It's like stuck on repeat until you realize what cycle is. You take a step back and you're like, oh, hell no, do I want to keep doing that? That's crazy talk. There is some kind of generational or religious or, or duplication, I guess I should say, of this person, your marriage, to this person in your life. And that's your weakness. You don't see it for what it is because you're living in la la land thinking that this person is doing what they're supposed to be doing they're protecting you they're taking care of you but in well here let me tell let me show you the emperor in reverse this is the per, your person this is your person this is someone who is so overblown with their own self-importance this is someone who is egocentric, self-centered. They are completely out of control of themselves. And the most important thing about this emperor in reverse, and I say guy because there's a dude on the picture, okay? The emperor in reverse is so deeply, deeply, deeply insecure that they cannot create a sense of self-worth from the inside out. They have to create a sense of self-worth from the outside in. And that's what make the, makes this person egocentric, self-centered, out of control. And this person has some kind of power over you. You think this person is the king of pentacles. You're working your heart out to make this happy home life with this person. And all the while, he is just a freaking blowhard all over the place that really doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. But because he's in charge of you, he can do whatever the hell he wants to do. The knight of wands in reverse to the queen of wands in reverse. And this person steals your joy this is you work so hard to uplift this person in this situation but this person literally extinguishes your sense of self-worth absolutely temperance in reverse leaking out the bottom leaking self-worth all out the bottom of your life 
because somehow, some way, you're committed to this person, and somehow, some way, they have some kind of power over you. And you just keep trying to see the good, and trying to see the good, and trying to see the good, while you're leaking your self-worth all over your life. The Ace of Pentacles to the King of Swords. The only way that anything is going to be different for you, the only way that anything is going to be different for you, is if you see the truth of the situation with that King of Swords. The aha moment truth of the situation. Let me also say this King of Swords could be a divorce lawyer. This could be someone giving you some kind of legal advice or advising you as to what is in your best interest somehow. It could also represent contracts. Um, maybe getting with a divorce attorney. But nevertheless, this is your reading and this is about you. And this King of Swords is about you owning the truth of the situation and seeing for what it is. That sword wants to knock those rose-colored glasses off your face and say, do you see and understand what is happening here? And the Ace of Pentacles behind it is new ground new seeds to grow the prosperity of your life. You might be afraid that you can't with temperance in reverse right there because your self-worth is going to tell you that you can't, right? This person's going to tell you that you can't. This person has probably told you you would be nothing without me. You would be nothing without me. You'd never make it without me. And this person knows that you believe that. And because they know that you believe that, they make the rules. But you gotta sow new ground. You gotta sow seeds on new ground, fresh ground. You can't grow the seeds of your life in this situation because this blowhard won't let them grow. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, stuck. You feel like you're stuck. You feel like you have no choices. You feel like you can't do anything. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I had two kids, eight years old and 12 years old. I lived in the middle of nowhere in a small rural town. I had no job. I had no money. I had no education. And the reason that I am the one being asked to give you this is because I have been there. I have been there. I packed up. I didn't clean it out. I packed up what I needed to run a small household for me and my two kids, and I moved. I went to the women's shelter the night before, and I told them what was going on, and then I didn't have any money, but I was leaving. I didn't know where I was going, but I was freaking leaving. And they did an emergency thing, and they got me a down payment, um, a rent payment, you know, on um, a place to stay. And I moved there the next day. I had two people from my church. I am a recovering Christian. I had two people from my church come move me in the middle of the day while he was gone. And I had nothing, absolutely nothing. I ate so many damn ramen noodles that I, I can't hardly stand to eat them today. They're very nostalgic to me. Ramen noodles and black cherry Kool-Aid. <laughs> because my kids had to eat. Thank God for state aid. I mean, this was years ago, y'all. I mean, years ago. My God, my, my kid's like 30 now, right? But it was, it, it, thank God for food stamps or my kids would have starved. I lost a lot of weight and that was awesome part of it. But you can do this. You are not stuck. You have options. You have extremely important choices to make. You are not stuck. The universe is trying to tell you this. You are not stuck. You have not exhausted all of your resources. And perhaps there's a little bit of pride involved here as well. Don't want people at the church to know what's going on, right? Small town, everybody knows everything. Uh-huh, I know that. I know that for sure, right? Family, don't want my family and everybody to know what's going on because it would be a huge failure because he's supposed to be the king of pentacles. I know, but you're not stuck. You're not stuck. The Hierophant in reverse, you can break loose of these ties, these commitments, this, these bonds that your mind is tethered to. You've got to reevaluate the core root belief system that you're coming from. What do you believe 
about life, about yourself, about your religion, about this guy, about your family? I mean, what do you truly believe and why? Why do you believe that? Because it's been passed down from generation to generation because there's expectations on you of what you're supposed to be and how you're supposed to be successful in life? I don't care. I don't care what the ties that bind you to this situation are. If you are the person that is picking up this reading, you can leave to the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. You can leave. Ace of Pentacles. Make the decision. Own your truth. Go consult with the divorce attorney. Drop dead serious. Drive to the next town if you need to. Go consult with someone and see where you stand legally. And that will empower you. That will empower you. Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. New opportunities. Ace of Pentacles. New opportunities. New opportunities for growth. New opportunities to harvest on good soil. Fresh soil that's going to grow what it is that you want your life to be. In the Page of Cups in the center of your reading. This is about emotional growth. It's also about invitations. It's also about perhaps you communicating with people. The Page of Cups is someone who wants to help you. That's right. Help you get a new start. To the Two of Cups in reverse. But you have to understand first that this relationship is not viable. Your person, being the Emperor in reverse, cannot be a King of Pentacles. They just can't. They're not sewn from those threads. They cannot be a King of Pentacles, no matter how much you try. No matter how much you try to fake it, no matter how much every, because I'm telling you, a narcissist, everybody loves a narcissist. Everybody loves that emperor in reverse unless he's a true asshole, right? If he's followed by like the king of swords in reverse or something, then nobody likes that guy. But this guy, everybody thinks this guy is great and they're not going to understand why you want to leave and they're not going to understand why you would walk away from such a great life. Remember, male or female, this could be on the complete opposite end of things, and this could be a wife or a girlfriend or something that I'm talking about here, okay? But I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm reading the energy from the cards, and there's a lot of female, male kind of thing going on here. Two, the Ten of Swords, and I don't know why I'm so concerned about that with this reading right here. I never really am concerned about that, so maybe this reading is for someone that is maybe non-binary of some sort. Maybe that's why I'm so worried about offending someone here. All right, so the Ten of Swords, all right? Ten of Swords is about endings, painful endings. What did we, that's what we just said, right? All the, all the embarrassment and the pain of everything because everybody loves that you're, you're your person, but they don't know what your person is like when they're alone. Yeah, it's going to be painful. It, it is, I mean, straight up, it, it's going to hurt. The whole thing's going to hurt. The whole thing's going to be difficult, and it's going to hurt, and it's going to be sticky. But you have to do what you have to do, the star in reverse, because this is not your path. It's not your purpose. The queen of wands in reverse, you can't be who you are. This person probably oppresses and suppresses who you are because they find your beautiful soul to be in direct competition with their sour soul. Interesting. You're leaking self-worth all over the place. And this isn't your path. This isn't your purpose. This isn't what you're supposed to be doing with your life. But for a pentacle, four of wands, right? But, but it's okay. If I just ignore everything about this and go about my business, he goes to work eight hours a day. You only have to deal with him for a couple hours at night on the weekends. Four of Pentacles in reverse, self-protection, protecting yourself, putting your head down, minding your own business, and letting this person reign free all over the place ensures that you have some kind of safety in life. And the stars clarified by the High Priestess 
and the Page of Pentacles. High Priestess says if you will follow your soul, you will be led to exactly what you need. And that's why you're bugging me. That's why you are in my dream. That's why I've been thinking about you all day. Because the High Priestess is your soul and your soul has a message for you. Your soul says if you will do what we are telling you to do, we will show you, we will lead you, we will guide you every step of the way, page of pentacles, and you will be amazed at what falls into place for you. But you have to initiate it. You have to want it so bad that you don't care where the cards fall. All you know is you're getting you and maybe your kids out of this situation and you don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. High Priestess in the Page of Pentacles. Talked about that already. Let's see. Six Pentacles. The giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity in life. To the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, the foundation that you have, the community that you have, the church that you have, the family that you have, the extended family that you have, the lake, the, the cabin on the lake, right? The summer barbecues with the boat. All of that stuff. Four of Cups. Contemplation, reevaluation. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Right? Look. The Three of Cups, right? You're focusing on what you think is worth it. The Six of Pentacles, the giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity in life. The Four of Wands right here. Safe place, stability. The Ten of Pentacles, all my bills are paid maybe. Don't really have to work. As long as I just keep my head down and do what I'm told, it's all right. And the Fourth Cup is being, you're compartmentalizing it, right? And the Fourth Cup is saying, reconsider how it is that you're going about this. Take the information that we're giving you here so you can bring stability to your emotional processes. It's not worth it. Five of Wands, the conflict. Is the barbecues at the boathouse on the lake worth it? Is it all worth it? Because I'm going to tell you, if you do have kids, what they are seeing you do in this situation Kids are energy sponges, man. They know. They know. If you do have kids and they see you being subservient to this person, they see you diminishing, they see you not having what's important to you and your inspirations and aspirations snuffed out, they're going to grow up to do that. To their wives and your daughters are going to grow up to marry your husband. So don't do it for the kids. Can't imagine, can't imagine if I would have stayed with my children's father any longer than I did, what would have happened to my children emotionally and mentally. To the Seven of Wands, fighting against it all the time, backing up, backing up, backing up, taking it, taking it, taking it, crying in bed, crying in the shower, crying in the car, anxiety, despair all the time because you can't please this person. To the Prince of Cups, to the Page of Cups in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse is I won't, I won't, I won't have Christmases. Everything's going to change. Everything's going to change for my kids. Everything's going to change in my life. Everything's going to change. And I'm not sure that I want that. To justice. What's in your best interest? Two of Pentacles is to prioritize and stabilize your sense of well-being. Justice. What's in your best interest? It's truth. It's right. It's good. This card might be saying, "My, I just went to that King of Swords right there. This card might be saying that you will be entitled to a heck of a lot more than you think you are in your divorce. 
Um, justice says that if you will do the right thing, the right thing will be done by you. Justice is about being accountable for following what your soul is screaming at you. But you just keep saying, nope, he's the king of pentacles. He's the king of pentacles. He's the king of pentacles. The wheel of fortune. What's in your best interest is a gigantic, huge 360, 180. What is it? Let's see. Bzzz. Yeah, 180 is back the other way, right? Right on. It's a huge, gigantic turning point. What's in your best interest, what is justice for the situation, is for you to allow divine orchestration to take place in your life. Because remember, if you follow what your soul is telling you, your soul is directly connected to source. And source, source is abundant. They have everything that you need. But if you want to do it in your humanness, they really can't intervene in your free will. Justice is this turning point to the Ten of Cups. Justice is you having peace and a happiness in your life. A human being needs to have peace and happiness. They need to be able to follow their inspirations, their aspirations. They need encouragement. They need, they need support in who it is that they want to be and not just some kind of identity that is assigned to you for whatever reason. King of Wands in reverse, just like the Emperor in reverse, just like the Queen of Wands in reverse. See, you're so beat down on the inside that you don't realize that your person is actually more insecure than you are. To the Nine of Cups in reverse, Nine of Cups in Reverse talks about, well, I'm going to say right now, alcoholic, okay? Right now, I'm calling alcoholic. Um, heavy drinker, drugs, okay, let's just say heavy self-medicator. <laughs> All right? Your person is, I would venture to say, a heavy self-medicator. And um, you can't deal with folks like that. You can't deal with drunk people. And if people are watching this reading and you're an alcoholic, you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself because alcohol is the devil. Here to tell you that right now, alcohol is, it's called spirits for a reason. You know, I see the liquor stores, spirits sold here. It's called spirits for a reason. And you are medicating yourself with alcohol so you don't have to deal with your emotional baggage. And while you do that, not only do you ruin your body, but you ruin the lives of everyone around you. Go to AA. So, your person, alcoholic, drug addict of some sort. The high priestess. High priestess says again, we're trying to talk to you. We're trying to lead you, guide you. We're trying to show you what to do to change your situation. You have not exhausted all of your resources, but you got to want it. You have to want it. The only way anybody's bullshit changes and when, when they get sick of their own bullshit, you got to want it. And these cards, this reading is, I guess, reinforcing to you that what you feel inside of yourself is the truth of the situation. The wheel in reverse. You're not supposed to be here. The star in reverse, right? It's not your path. It's not your purpose. You're not supposed to be here. You're stuck on repeat. You're stuck on a repeat cycle over and over and over again because you want to emulate your mommy and daddy's marriage so bad. Or perhaps you're going overboard and trying to, trying to keep something together because your mommy and daddy relationship was shit. And you're like, I'm getting married and I ain't ever getting divorced. And you married someone that turned into a freaking maniac. It's a blockage, man. There's a blockage to the Seven of Cups. You're confused. You're not seeing straight. You're delusional. You're believing in something that is not real. And that is that this person is the King of Pentacles. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was in my hand right there. You're believing this person is the King of Pentacles. 
to the three of wands. See the forest through the trees. See the forest through the trees so you can begin to prepare your exit from this situation. Start saving a little bit. Tell you what I did. I bought extra coffee. Big, huge, gigantic Folgers coffees. I bought like two or three of those. And then a couple weeks later, I'd return them. And I would keep that money. I started collecting tools all around the house because I knew I was going to need some hammer and some nails and stuff like that. Right? I started preparing. I started putting feelers out on the down low, got on Craigslist because that's what it was back then, right? Got on Craigslist and started looking at places for rent and just started looking for a job, you know? Prepare, get ready, prepare, see the forest through the trees. To the chariot in reverse. But it can't go unless you go. They will not and cannot intervene in your free will. Chariots waiting, the motors running. All you have to do is put in the self-control, the willpower and the determination to do something about your situation. But you gotta give up. You have to give up the, 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 the boat. You have to give up the, the, the things that you don't want to upset by doing this. Hermit in reverse, withdrawal, isolation, ten of wands, a huge gigantic burden. Again, this goes towards, towards your whole situation here. I really feel like you have to keep your head down and take whatever the fuck it is that this person dishes towards you. Whatever it is. It's a burden. It's a struggle. It's lonely. King of Cups in reverse. You're being emotionally manipulated. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Your sense of well-being is constantly in jeopardy if you don't carry the burden. Nine of Swords. Again, crying. Up all night. Embarrassed embarrassed that you have allowed yourself to become this embarrassed that you have to be the bad guy in the eyes of the people who think that this person is amazing so much grief in that nine of swords knight of cups in reverse knight of cups in reverse talks about fragmented emotions hurt dreams broken dreams. It's definitely wrung out emotionally. Emotionally wrung out. Leaking self-worth all over the place because somebody who's unhealthy thinks that they're important. You help this person somehow think he's important. And then boom. Last card in this spread is the Empress in the upright, which has nothing to do with that emperor right there. The empress is you. The empress is the most important thing that anybody can ever understand about life. The empress is made from lesson one and lesson two. They equal lesson three. Lesson one, two, and three equals four. One, two, and three, four equals five. Okay? The empress is made from the most important lesson, which is the magician. Your mind creates your reality. Your internal self narrative literally creates the life that you live. So check that internal self narrative and find that connection between your family situation when you were a child and your relationship with your mom, your dad, the whole thing, and find those dots that connect to this person right here, this emperor in reverse and see it for what it is. Because that's your internal self narrative. That's what is keeping you here. Find out what's feeding that. If it's a religious situation, I only say that so many times because the Hierophant was the first card out. If it's a religious situation, the same thing applies. Take a step back and really, really begin to see why things are done the way that they're done. 
who's in control, and most importantly, follow the money. Lesson two is the high priestess. Man, that's your ancient soul. Same soul that was here before you were born, same soul that is going to be here when you die is the same soul that you are right now. We don't change souls. Souls are eternal. And the second you die, you are going to be exactly the same, just expressed in a different way. That ancient soul is trying to speak to you. Follow what it's telling you to do without arguing about it. And it's always going to lead you to the path of your best and highest good. Those two concepts create the Empress. She is the dirt of life. Nothing good grows in her life without those two concepts as the foundation stones. She's constantly checking what it is that she believes about herself and running it against what her intuition is telling her to do. Right on. You can do this. I also want to say someone's mom is going to be very happy that they have done this. Perhaps even be able to support you somehow once you admit some kind of failure that you don't want to admit to. Interesting. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. It's that aha moment. Ah. I see it. I see it. I see all of the mental baggage that has kept me stuck here. The Three of Pentacles. Teamwork, collaboration, the sun, the path to happiness, success, and vitality, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse, not being in poverty. What this is saying is that if you will see very clearly that your soul is trying to communicate to you what it is that you should do next, they're going to lead you to teamwork and collaboration. They are going to, all these little aces, remember in the center of the reading there, they are going to bring to you exactly what or who it is that you need to do what it is that you need to do in this situation. But everybody's hands are tied until your free will allows this to take place. They got you. They got your back. They just need you to pay attention. Ask and you will know. Seek and you will find. Truly, truly be open to the breadcrumbs, the signs, the synchronicities, the doors that open, the things that you overhear at the gas station pump. Be conscious and cognizant of everything going on around you. And it will all fall together for you. You are beautiful and you are worthy and you are allowed to be whoever it is that you want to be. Because this fire that's down inside of this Queen of Wands right here, it's who she's always been. It's who she's always been throughout eternity. And it's who you will be. Who you've always been needs to come out. And whoever this is, is preventing that from happening. Man, Whew. I feel such a such a lightness now. Okay, well, I hope that that helped you. Um, I truly hope that that helped you. And I'm sorry to be so cryptic and weird about this whole thing, but it just had to be done. It had to be said. And uh, namaste.